Hello everybody and welcome back to Noelle's Big Family Life. Today is another full day of meals, cheap eats. So we're going to start off with some oatmeal. I'm doing a half a cup of old fashioned oats and three fourths cup of water. A dash of salt. And then two tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder. One tablespoon of maple syrup. And optional but highly recommended, a drop or two of almond extract. Then just give that a good stir and we're gonna heat that in the microwave for three to three and a half minutes. You could definitely cook this on the stove top as well. And I used water because it helps it to not boil over in the microwave. So after it comes out, it's nice and chocolatey and rich like this. I'm adding a little bit of milk at this time. I am using almond milk, but use whatever kind of milk it is that you have on hand. And then we're gonna just top it with whatever it is you like. I have some sliced strawberries and bananas. And now we're moving on to lunch. For lunch, we are going to take our crock pot and add to it two bay leaves, some carrots, I used three carrots, sliced three celery stalks, two cloves of garlic, three sweet potatoes chopped, a half of an onion, And then to that, we're gonna add our spices, which is a half teaspoon of ground ginger, a half teaspoon of oregano, a fourth cup of parsley, a fourth teaspoon of thyme, a little salt and pepper, a half teaspoon of turmeric, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, and then you're gonna add six cups of vegetable broth, or I added water, and then use some bouillon, because I did not have any chicken broth ready. And then you're gonna go on and cook that on high for three hours. After three hours, you're gonna give it a quick stir and you're gonna add a cup of rice. I am using wild rice, but you can use whatever kind of rice you have on hand. Then you're gonna stir that up and cook it for one more hour. And this is what it looks like when it's all done. It very much tastes like a chicken noodle soup, but without the chicken or the noodles. <laughs> And now on to dessert. Sorry, I thought I was recording and I wasn't. So in the bowl, we already have a cup of melted butter, two cups of sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And now we're gonna add two eggs. You can add three if you would like it to be less fudgy. Then you're gonna add two thirds cup of flour, two thirds cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. You could add a little more if you want it to taste more like a dark chocolate. And then three fourths teaspoon of baking powder and three fourths teaspoon of salt. You're gonna preheat your oven to 350 degrees. 
give this a good stir and then I lined my muffin tins and sprayed them with a non-stick spray then you're gonna fill your muffin tins and you're gonna bake them for about 15 minutes or until they're done once they come out of the oven you're going to want to take some kind of a glass bottle and make sure that you use non-stick spray or coat it with something so it doesn't stick and then press into the center of each of the brownies you want to do this while they are good and hot and that makes the perfect cup to fill with ice cream it would be great with some hot fudge too but I did not have any so now let's move on to dinner homemade pizza so here we're gonna start with two cups of warm water you don't want it hot or it will kill your yeast but you don't want it cold or your yeast won't activate to that add two tablespoons of sugar and five teaspoons of yeast three tablespoons of oil I'm using vegetable oil you could use olive oil or whatever kind you would like I'm sorry that was six tablespoons two teaspoons of salt and five cups of flour now I did give you the measurements I used I doubled this recipe that I have and that makes two good sized pizzas now after you mix this all together there's no need to let anything rest or anything until it is all mixed together and then we're gonna let it rest for about five minutes and then it's ready to go so I'm sprinkling some cornmeal on the bottom of my dish and that's gonna keep it from sticking but it also gives it a really good texture and flavor your dough is very sticky, but that is okay. You want it like that. And you're just gonna press it out onto your sheet. I like to use my baking stones for this. And then you're just gonna start topping it. I bake this at 350 degrees until the cheese is nice and browned on top. So usually about 20 minutes. I'm adding just some plain tomato sauce on top. And then I am gonna top that with some fresh herbs from my garden. I have some fresh basil and oregano. You could definitely use dried herbs if you do not have the fresh. And then I'm going over it with some Italian seasoning. And then I'm using some vegetables from my garden. I have tomatoes, red peppers, green peppers. And I am putting those on one of our pizzas because it is vegetable. One of the things that I love about making pizza at home of our own is I can make it how all of my crew likes it and they all like it different. So I also am going to add some purple onion or red onion to both pizzas. And then on the vegetable pizza, I push some aside so that I could have one with just cheese and black olives because that's how Ronnie likes it and then I added black olives to the vegetable pizza and then pepperoni to the other pizza and then on the vegetable pizza I put cheese on some of it and some I did not because some of my kids don't like cheese And then I put cheese on the other one. Mm. 
And this is what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. This is so good. I definitely hope you guys give it a try. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye everybody.